What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Brian and I are doing something a little bit different that we haven't done before and we are hooking up our boat trailer behind the Tacoma. In the three years that I've had this truck, I've only used it to tow maybe twice. I put a lot of stuff in the bed, but I don't actually tow with a trailer. So for all of you guys with a Tacoma, comment down below and let me know, do you tow a lot with your truck? And we are going to find out if re-gearing the Tacoma makes a difference. The boat weighs about 4,500 pounds, I think, right Bri? Yep. Plus the trailer. Yeah, so we're, we're still under 5,000, which is a lot lower than its max towing capacity. But we are going to find out if re-gearing helps uh, because I'm definitely interested if you tow a lot and you want a smaller size truck, will re-gearing help? You got it? If we just follow this side of the dock, it's usually pretty good. Off you go. And here you go. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. I'll meet you at the dock. Hi right, guys, let's hit the water. All right guys, we are now on the boat, out on the water, enjoying a beautiful day. I'm interested to see how well the Tacoma is going to do with the new gear and towing this boat because the Tacoma is not a tow boat at all, if you guys. Okay, it's not a tow truck at all. Uh, it can do pretty well with smaller items like a utility trailer or like dirt bikes or something. But a big boat kind of maxing out the capability, so it'll be interesting. All right, so I've made it to the boat launch. We're just going right over there. I think I actually beat Mike, which is pretty impressive. I think I see a blue Tacoma way out there, though. He may have beat me. So we have made our way to the boat launch now. And basically what I really want to test is how much better re-gearing the Tacoma affects not only MPG, but also just overall driving. And especially if you're towing a trailer a lot, which I don't do a lot, unfortunately, but I do go off road. I have a lift and larger tires. So I would like to see for anyone that tows with a Tacoma, or is considering this as a tow vehicle, does re-gearing actually help with its hunting gears and just being able to tow not just on flat ground, going up and down hills on the highway and things like that. So with the trailer just into the water there, let's go ahead and hook this up. All right, so we are up on the trailer. Just got a few more inches, get that all hooked up, and then let's tow this thing out and see how the Tacoma does. All right, so it's a little bit of a process to get the boat on. Let's see how well it does. I'm not using four-wheel drive. I don't think I need it with my off-road tires. It's not that wet out either. And just like that, you really don't feel the weight of it which is nice. I think the max capacity or towing capacity for the Tacoma is 6,500, if I'm not wrong, and this boat is under five. All right, so we're getting out on the road here. <laughs> slowly getting up to Slowly speed. getting up to speed. That's about 3,500 RPM. 4,000. Almost 4,000. It's not shifting yet. <laughs> there we go. I think it's stressed. 4,500. We're at 50. We're at 50, yep. So. I, you can feel the weight of it, but once we're up to speed here, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's it's well, there. We are coming up to another hill though. We'll see yeah, how well it maintains like 50. But so far we're cruising about 2200 RPM at 51. So it's really not bad. I do have a loud exhaust, so that makes it yeah. that makes it seem louder than it really is. It definitely is straight. You can tell the truck has to work to get this. And this yeah. is not maxing the towing, but this is almost this is this is a pretty good weight for the truck. Yeah. So we're we're coming up to a hill here, and this is the downshifting that the regearing is hopefully going to fix. I don't know how well it will do for towing, but we'll see. Because so I'm, I'm not. We're okay. In third we're in gear. third gear right now, so it won't. Yeah, it'll let you go to fourth. Yeah. But it's definitely not going to fifth because we're yes yeah, right back now, down so to fifth. third. So will regearing let us be in fourth gear at a higher RPM or? or I guess third gear at a lower RPM. It's shifting it's from third shifting to, fourth, to fourth, and it's gonna go back to third in like five seconds. If I give it gas. Uh, if I don't give it any gas, yeah. it'll be fine. But we're, yeah, we're maintaining about 50, yeah, there, there it is. There we go. <laughs> 
So it, it does fight for gears, especially yeah. with the way it is. And we're only going 50 and it's only using third and four. So fifth and sixth aren't even aren't, remotely yeah. close. Now, if we were out on the highway, maybe, but even driving this without towing a trailer, I'm hardly in sixth gear. Yeah. Which is a big problem because it's like the second gen Tacoma was only a five speed. So they made yeah. a six speed, but they didn't give you six gear. They pretty much did the <laughs> same gearing, not yeah. compensating for that six gear. Right. Which is it's useless. Right. Which is something that honestly, guys, I didn't even know. Like you look down at the gauge cluster here and you see D for drive. Yeah. So you don't know what gear you're in. You're thinking, oh, we're, we're cruising in six gear already. And the weird thing no. is, even when you go to manual mode, if I say I'm in six, it says six, but we're not in six at all. No, it's we're in fifth. We're still in fourth or fifth. If I downshift, nothing happens. We're in, yeah, we've been in fourth gear. Yeah, we we're we we're in fifth. Oh, fifth. There. Okay, yeah. But it doesn't. It never uses six gear, pretty much ever. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'll be doing a comparison without pulling a trailer. So if you guys don't tow with your Tacoma, that'll be a separate video that you can check out once everything is installed. Yeah. To really see the differences of basically daily driving. This is my daily driver. I don't daily tow. <laughs> yeah. So this is just for anyone that tows, and I'm pretty interested in it too. So as a stock geared vehicle towing a max load pretty much yeah is it recommended with a stock truck or would this kind of get old <laughs> i think it would get old depending on how far you're driving city driving it like probably is okay a few miles to the boat launch yeah if you're driving an hour anything farther than that oh, man. you're just going to be blowing through tanks of gas because this is not designed like a diesel yeah and i've seen i've seen a lot of comments people want to see a, a diesel tacoma which I think would actually perform very well in situations the, like that. The Colorado has a diesel. Yeah. And doesn't the Jeep, because I know the Wrangler, you can get a diesel now. It's a four-cylinder diesel. Well, which, still, it's yeah, diesel. it's still a diesel. So, yeah, not meant for towing as much. Oh. Um, but, yeah, so. Interesting. I mean, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's it, decent. It's not bad, but it's still hunting for gears, and we're only going 45. It's shifted a few times, and it gets boggy now under 2,000 at 40. So, see, the re-gearing would bring that RPM up in a lower gear. Yeah. So, we wouldn't be shifting as much. Yeah, and you, you just feel that it is working to do it, you know? That is fine. That was a jump in, like, 200 RPM. Yeah. That was fine, but... It'll be interesting because as of now, the gears are sitting at home, not even installed yet. <laughs> yeah. The later part of this video, they're going to be installed, so yeah. we don't even know. I keep forgetting before. about that, yeah. We don't know what That's it's That's our hope. Before. Yeah. That's our hope, is it that could, it's much better. It could be horrible and not do anything. <laughs> well, but. we'll see. Uh, I don't know, does that sum up our stock performance? Yeah. I'd say Tacoma towing. the truck does feel a little boggy, I'm gonna turn and it does shift you know, a little bit, especially going uphill, yeah. and still not going to use six gear unless we're really out on the highway. Yeah. And even then, it's probably not going to use six gear. Yeah. Because we've towed with Chevy 2500 gas trucks, and even those downshift a lot. So the diesel is really ideal. The diesel makes a huge difference. So we'll see then sure. with this with the gears, if it at least feels smoother, has more torque down low, and that's, just feels better. That's one thing that I think it will have more torque down low. Exactly. The gear ratio is just going to be yeah. optimal. So we should be able to barely give it gas and it could creep with the load Yeah, with a trailer. So it'll be interesting to see. I guess let's go ahead and fast forward to now in the gears. All right, now it has been 1,000 miles and Brian and I have our boat hooked up. We actually just came from a Nautique event, so that's why we have matching shirts right now. Uh, but now talking about our Moomba that we are towing behind the Tacoma. So right off the bat, we've gone a couple miles so far just to kind of get a good feel for it. You can still feel the weight of the boat simply because this isn't a full-size truck. Uh, but so far we felt like this truck is not shifting as much as it did with these stock gears. It's still shifting. You can hear that downshift right now. Downshift again because we're going up a hill, but it doesn't scream like 3,500, 4,000 RPM. Yeah. It's been staying under 3,000. And even getting into some, six, right now we're yeah. in six gear. We're in six gear going 50 miles an hour. That's so never the, I know that's never happened. And even uh, when we're not towing in the truck, you know, getting to six gear, we're up at like 70 miles an hour. Yeah. So with the weight, it's obviously adjusted down to 50 miles an hour. We just downshifted up this small hill, but we're at 2000 RPM right now. Yeah, like, I'm noticing before you would probably be using fifth and fourth, yeah. but since the ratio is different, going to fourth was like, not an overdrive gear at all, so right. just screaming at like 4,000 RPM. Right. Now, because it can use six gear, it'll go to fourth still, but the ratio is now a little bit taller to where it's not screaming, but still giving you plenty of power to actually get you where you need to go. And 
I think we're rarely seeing third gear even. I think it would even drop to third gear sometimes. Yeah. And that just depends on the steepness of the hill and the speed that you're going. Yeah. Of course. So it actually makes it a little bit more pleasant to drive if you're towing a lot. It's like, not. It like just right downshifted now, again, still under 2,000. And we're only in fifth, I bet. Yeah. 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 It's not struggling. It's still, don't buy the Tacoma <laughs> if you actually are towing a lot. Yeah. Get a full size truck, honestly, just get a diesel. But for being a smaller truck, not a tow truck, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not struggling. Yeah, it, it, it feels really good, especially uh, with uh, like my suspension and everything. The truck's not oh, feeling yeah. like it's just dragging, oh, yeah. um, which is for a, a separate video, you know, getting your truck ready to tow. Yeah. Uh, but so far, so good. I think if you are towing a lot, but you're not towing heavy weights, like less than our boat, yeah. it's it's probably beneficial. But these re-gearing, it's not about high-speed, tall gears. It's more for the low-end power, and because it's a six-speed that never gets used, it's shortened everything to where you can get into sixth gear at a better ratio than it used to be. So if we're towing something heavy, you want that lower RPM torque and utilizing all the gears better. And now I think it's doing that because you can now utilize six gears instead of five gears. Right. I and think that's where it's helping. Yeah. And now hopefully the camera heard that. We just reached a 3,000 RPM at 50 with that hill. We would have been at least 4,000. Absolutely. Yeah. So it, it dropped it at least 1,000 RPM. Yeah, which, which is less strain, less stressed. It's annoying when your car's revving all the time like that. Uh, if you have an aftermarket exhaust like I do, it makes it scream a lot more too. Which I, you know, I did that. I could have kept it stock, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like it, it downshifted again here just because of the bridge bumps and this tiny hill. Yeah, I'm trying to stay at a consecutive speed too. Yeah, it definitely um, seems right around 50. But we just jumped almost a thousand there. That's still three thousand RPM. Yeah. yeah. And now downhill, downhill's yeah. easy. It'll go into sixth gear, which is awesome. Yeah. But yeah, as far as uh, towing with the re-gear, I think it's benefit beneficial. If you are seriously towing a lot though, consider a full-size truck, not to downplay my own Tacoma, but I don't tow a lot. So when I do tow a boat or a small utility trailer, it's going to help in those situations if you have other you know, smaller trailers or something. But yeah, yeah if you're gonna be towing for a good distance, yeah. I think with the re-gearing, we could probably go, we could probably tow this for a day, like an hour or something. It wouldn't be bad. It, it wouldn't be bad. If it was, if every weekend you're towing something though, like a horse trailer, a big boat, yeah. you obviously bought the wrong <laughs> truck and you, yeah. we already know that because people who buy full sizes have probably been there, done that. Yeah. So. I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. We just wanted to see how the Tacoma performs towing with the lower gearing ratio or the lower gears that Brian was saying, uh, having a little bit more power down low. I think it's beneficial. I really like it. We have some other videos coming. We still need to go off-road and see how this performs off-road with the new gears. But hopefully you guys have been following along with the re-gear update, the re-gear build, I guess you can say, on the Tacoma. And uh, we're trying to hit every topic on the re-gear to see how well it performs. We've had a lot of comments on everything, so yeah. you know, answering everything. So here's the towing. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button and stay tuned with the videos that we have coming and uh, check out some of our previous videos as well. We'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.